Today's lesson, we are going to learn how to get our CSGO application into either your phone or your tablet so data collection can begin. For those of us who might be taking this alone and you have forgotten some of the tips that we have done so far, I'm just going to create a quick one so we use that one to for our study purposes. So let's start and the first thing that we need to do is just create your so in this video i'm not going to be uh, so particular about details because um, at least in the first part because that is covered in our first three videos so if you want the details you have to go there and then you can refresh your mind about it but this i'm just gonna walk you through create a simple one then we use that one to practice getting it into our mobile device all right so i create my dictionary first and i'm going to go to my desktop and then use tutorials i've created one there so i'm just going to call it test and say okay save it so it is here so as i said before most of the these things i'm just going to be um, doing it and not telling you what i am doing but then if you want the details you go back to our first three videos to get more information okay so this i'm not going to change much here so i just leave it as one okay then i go to our record here maybe change the record tutorial just that that's one okay then i add some items here so i'm just gonna add a few items so maybe the first one is name of respondent okay so we just call that name and of course this is going to be alpha what will be our length let me just take um, three shorten your name to three okay then the next one will just be maybe h and then h can be numeric and they give it as two the next and last one probably will just be Sex of a respondent to leave as sex. This I'm going to leave it as numeric for now because I have I want to do something with it, and that something is to create some values. Okay, so we are going to add a value set to this one. So sex tap tap, and so we have male one and then female two, and we're gonna leave it at that. So basically I have finished with my dictionary. So I'm going to save that and then I'm going to go back to a new uh, data entry and just create data entry application here. So we're going back to here and I'm going to call that again test just using the same name as my dictionary. You can choose to rename yours in any way that you prefer. So we have that creating, creating, yes, it's created the first time. So you would obviously see that one so i'm going to accept the defaults as they are and again i uh, might not be i'm not interested i want all of them to be in the same thing so i will just delete all that go back to my dictionary here and then pull them here that's okay so accept default because we're not going to do um we're not uh, actually going to style it in any way so so we just leave it as that and then save it we can test it here if you want by running this one here click on the traffic light and that will allow us to start to enter data so again first time we are going to create a database because it doesn't exist this is our first time of entering the data so i can call it test database something like that and i go ahead and there we are so our first thing is operator so my i'm going to use just pen as the operator then i can start entering my data here okay i use pen again 10 years and then mail okay then next one two 11 years sorry that's supposed to be name so i'm going to say ap and then here yeah, i'm gonna enter 11 and this time i'm a female okay 
and that is that so you can see the records here so let's stop this one close this one and go back let's create a pen file okay create the pen file from here this do we actually need this don't know but let's go on to see what happens our interest is this one right here publish and deploy so once you've gotten your um, data entry from properly uh, coded the way you want it to be and then your form organized properly then we we'll come to this one publish and deploy automatically it's choosing Dropbox for me for this first one I am going to show you how to use the local folder instead because I have my phone connected using the USB so uh, let me power on that I'm going to use um, in case you want to um, replicate this I'm using a power softs okay so so that I can uh, mirror my phone here for you to see so actually I'm gonna create this one so let's create this finish so we'll go to the phone and finish up that so here I'm going to say click on these three dots and then um, navigate to where I want my work to be placed this one is selected so you can see the full path here so we can now say deploy and it is done so we're going to go to the desktop and then see what we have sorry it's already opening here for us so I have tutorial open the tutorial folder you can see test form here so only three files are there for us to get it into our mobile device so now I'm going to minimize all these ones and let's open a power mirror okay so this is my phone I'm using a Samsung phone and I'm going to mirror my phone to this one here okay so you can see my phone right here so I'm just maximizing so that we can see all the apps here so we have um, CS Pro so you can see CS Pro right here I'm going to go to my um, desktop again this is the one that I want so I'm going to copy this one okay test form I'm going to copy the test form copy that and I will now navigate to my phone go to the internal memory go to um, Android then Android I go to data then I scroll right to the very bottom that is where I can find what I'm looking for gov.census.cspro.cs entry so open that up open the files then you see cs entry open up and then we can paste so all these i don't need them because that is in the old package so i have cleared this now we come here let me go off this and come back again hopefully i won't have anything there again so as you can see so let me move this to the left as you can see that we don't have any application again so I can now paste our test form here now let's go back to the phone and then open it again I just close it up and I'm opening it again and you can see a test there is it actually a test that we name it I don't know but let's see okay so you can see there's data there okay Test identification okay name all right so as you can see we have all that there uh, let me, okay I think the pen file is the uh, um, test so that is what we see in that name test there okay so basically that is what we have done sorry I need to select this one and yes and that is saved so we have it on our phone right now and we can now do our entries as it is so as you can see the plus sign right here so this plus sign here is actually what you need to click on in order to add another uh, record okay or another case as you can see at the top right here so test case one is entered so let's try another one and that will be two okay so we'll type two we go on type uh, the name so as usual i just go with my name then then h is 12 
there uh, this time I'm a female yes and that is done so I have two cases one two right there so this is how we can uh, actually get the data or we can get our app onto the phone in order for us to start our processes now the problem is going to be if I need to update this I will need to bring all the phones or all the tablets that this application is and do the same thing and do the updating if there is an update that I need to do all I have to do all the changes here and save it and go through the same process again in order to get the form here copy it and bring it back so that's going to be a lot of work so I think that is where an online system comes handy so how do we do that it's still the same process that we're going to go through so we're going to go to the file go to publish and deploy okay so we select Dropbox right here and we click on deploy so it's connecting to Dropbox now now it will not connect automatically you for the first time you will have to enter your details your username password in order to get connected okay because I have already connected it so um, the credentials are already saved so I don't need to do that again that is why you don't see the first step so here I have this um, application deployed successfully that's okay so now I can close that minimize this and let's go back to the phone let's connect it again and see what we want to do so let's pull it back here and then we are going to go to let me maximize this again so that you won't be tempted to be looking at other things instead of what we are actually doing so we go to CS Pro this is already what we had in the first one so we didn't delete it so it's still inside there so this time we are going to go to add application and pick Dropbox and as I told you see it's connecting it's not asking me for asking me of my details okay so right now I have a new version so I'm just gonna update probably because I already have something there but then it's adding it as a new application so I suppose that is the second one so I click on that second one and operator ID comes in okay that's okay I'm giving myself ID 12 so you see here you have zero so it actually means that that is the one that we have um, uploaded to the Dropbox all right so we can add our records here so again here I have one name and age mail and we're done we are done with this now let's go back to make some changes here in case there was something we forgot okay I'm going to go back to my dictionary and make some changes here so right now I have only three uh, records here sorry three uh, uh, yeah three variables here so I'm gonna add another one add uh, value add item sorry add item so add item is going to be just a class and since I'm going to make this short I'm just going to leave it as a single uh, value that is length of one okay just for illustration purposes all right so we have class added to our dictionary so I'm going to go back to my forms here and uh, make sure we get that last one added so pull it up here and class is there again forget about the layout let's save this and go back to deploy okay so publish and deploy go to Dropbox we're going to deploy here and it's connecting to Dropbox okay so application deployed successfully so let's go back and close this now come back here now if I haven't updated it yet so if I'm going to go through this I'm likely going to get the same thing the same form okay so let's try okay forgive me I'm using one name throughout and maybe okay this time I'm a female yes that is all the one we added is not added it's not included in this one 
I'm gonna go back one step go to the three dots there and update application this time we are updating we are not adding so click on update application and you can see it's connecting to Dropbox and it's fetching um, the application right there if a new version is found you will see this one otherwise you won't see anything so we just click on update and wait for um, CS Pro CS entry to be updated and there we are successfully uh, updated so we click on the test again enter operator ID okay it doesn't matter which one I enter now so I'm just using it as a test so here I have my test ID this time I'm gonna pick something bigger or something some other number but then the same name and it's 19 this time mail this time and now we have a class added to it so I have just put class 2 and there we are save it and that is how it is done so we have um, learned today how to um, get our application into the mobile device using the USB cable where we just copy the file into it the CS entry folder and that is it and the second part is to get your Dropbox details deploy into the Dropbox and then just add it using CS, CS entry. So I'll see you in another video. Thank you and have a good day.